There's so much confusion about the gospel and how to be saved. The answer's right here. Jesus was in a transcending time period. Jesus was under the law and Jesus was bringing in grace. Jesus was bringing in grace. For three and a half years, Jesus was preaching what seems like a double message. He was laying and keeping the word, the law. He was keeping the law on one hand. On one hand, he was keeping the law. On the other hand, he was laying grace, laying the foundation for grace. Jesus, for three and a half years, laying the foundation for grace. He was doing both things. This is what confuses people. Jesus, when he healed the leper, he told the leper, go offer, go offer the sacrifice commanded by Moses in the law. He kept every jot and tittle. Jesus taught to keep the law. Jesus taught to keep the law. Jesus kept the law. Jesus said, not one jot or tittle of the law shall be broken until all things be fulfilled. Jesus kept the Sabbath. Jesus told the rich man what he must do to be saved. Keep the commandments. Jesus' ministry was under the law. He was born under the law. He taught the law. He said, if you want to be saved, your righteousness has to be greater than the Pharisees who were hypocrites breaking the law. He said, listen to them. Keep what they say, but don't follow their actions. In other words, they're teaching the law of Moses. Obey them, but don't live like them because they're hypocrites. So he was under the law and taught that message, taught the jot and tittle while the time, while the time was still law. This is the law, right? The law went all the way to the cross right here. So Jesus had to keep the law. No doubt about it. 100%. 100%. He said, he who teaches to break the law will be least in the kingdom of heaven. Jesus, Jesus is the greatest. However, during this three and a half year period, during this three and a half year period, my friends, Jesus was laying the mystery of the gospel. The mystery of the gospel was coming forth. The mystery of the gospel was coming forth in parables and secret messages to his 12 disciples. Jesus was laying the foundation, laying the foundation of grace simultaneously. Jesus, when he told the rich man to keep the commandments, he also interjected, sell everything while you're at it and follow me. Follow me into this new thing I'm doing. Sell everything was a, an outrageous teaching under the law. Because they were taught that God blessed you and if you had things, it must be that you have the favor of God on you. That's why Job's friends couldn't understand why Job was going through what he was going through. It was never understood that God would do such a thing. Jesus comes in teaching something different. Transitioning, transitioning while under the law, bringing in the teachings of grace simultaneously. Just like you can see grace, grace coming through in the old law with David, King David, when he was supposed to die, God showed him mercy, grace, grace on King David. And Noah, Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found grace. 
Noah found grace. Noah. So we see God pouring out grace sporadically. Intermittently, grace would come down upon certain people. Abraham, Noah, David had grace and mercy when he was supposed to be stoned for what he did. But Jesus, Jesus comes bringing the ultimate grace. Jesus is grace manifested. Jesus is actually a person called grace. And he begins teaching. He, get, he begins teaching his grace. He begins teaching his grace teachings right in here in a way that's never been seen before. It, they've never heard such teachings. They were astonished at his doctrine. Astonished at his doctrine. And he kept telling these disciples things in parables. In parables. Secret sayings. Secret messages. Why? Because it wasn't for everybody. It wasn't for everybody. It was only for the elect. Without getting too complicated, Daniel's, Daniel's prophecy was coming to an end. Israel was, Israel was going to be cut off. Jesus' teachings, he's teaching in the parables are coming in. While he's under the law, keeping the law, every jot and tittle, every jot and tittle. Bringing in grace, bringing in grace, bringing in grace, laying the foundation of grace. That was going to be the foundation for a new thing. The foundation for a new thing. For a brand new thing that was coming. That new thing was the new covenant and the end of the law. It was grace. Grace was the new thing Jesus was building with his blood sacrifice and with his teachings. Teachings that transcended, teachings that transcended the law, transcended the law, transcended the law for a new thing that was coming. What I'm trying to get at here is that when Jesus was under the law, he was teaching a message that was for those under the law. He spoke in parables and secret sayings and dark sayings and mysteries, only explaining them to the twelve when they were alone in secret and private, laying the foundation that they would remember when they received the Holy Spirit and begin to build upon those new teachings and they never taught to keep the law. And they began to teach or saved by grace. The 12 disciples taught saved by grace. Acts chapter 15, verse 11, they're saved by grace as we are saved by grace. The Jews and the Gentiles both saved by grace. Laying the foundation of grace right here. Grace was the new dispensation that we're under today. Grace is why now, now, now the teachings are all grace and believing in Jesus, believing in Jesus, believing in his name and doing what he says because he taught grace. He taught grace and his teachings for grace are applied over here. His teachings for the law, he did teach the law. He did teach people to keep the law. But he was still under that moment of the law still. He was teaching them to keep the law while he was laying the foundation for grace. That's why people are confused about the gospel the gospel that Jesus taught here and the gospel that we teach over here with Paul getting progressive revelation. Yeah, progressive revelation is the key to understand the gospel 
that Paul preaches and the gospel that Jesus was preaching while under the law. It's not two different gospels, it's two different dispensations and Jesus was actually preaching one message to two different groups of people because he was transitioning. When he told the rich man, sell everything and follow me, he was talking about coming this way with the 12, following Jesus and the 12 and eventually they would have been teaching this grace message and Jesus teaching us to keep the commands the commands you have to understand the spiritual side of the commands are still in effect we don't kill people we don't steal the jot and the tittle over here is what's been dealt done away with the animal sacrifices the letter of the law all the rituals all the old, you know, just so many things. The heavy burden of the law. It's done away with. Jesus still has commands of love. Forgive each other. Turn the other cheek. Give your stuff away. If somebody asks you for your coat and you got two of them, give them one. If we don't keep the law of love, the law of love and the law of forgiveness, if you don't keep the law of forgiveness, Jesus said, if you don't forgive, you won't be forgiven. Well, there are still things we have to obey. This is what people don't understand about grace. Faith has works. Faith has works, but it's not, not the works of the law. It's the works of love. And this is not a video for that. What I'm trying to get you to understand, there's a transition period. While Jesus is teaching keep the law he's also laying the foundation of grace that will transition into the dispensation of grace where they will no longer preach that you have to keep the law but you have to keep faith in Jesus and Jesus taught some things we need to know about and they're twisting the gospel of Paul they're trying to twist the gospel of Paul saying they don't know what God Paul's really preaching they're leaving out scriptures they're not understanding what Paul's saying Paul taught the Gentiles to bring the the deeds of repentance the works of repentance. Acts chapter 26. Acts 26 verse 20. Paul also taught, repent and bring the works of repentance. Okay, Paul taught that. Acts 26 20. Okay, that's not keeping the law. Repenting from your sins has nothing to do with the old law. It's a new way of living under grace. And I don't want to get too much into that right now because I don't want you to, to get confused about what I'm trying to do here with this three and a half year period. How Jesus is teaching two different messages. It's the same message but under two different time periods. It sounds like it's two different messages because he was teaching the same message of obey God. Right then you were obeying the law but at the same time he said follow me though because I'm laying a foundation of grace that's going to be given to the 12 and we're going to start a new dispensation of grace under my blood sacrifice. And that's how it works. That's why we see two different messages that some people would call two different gospels when they're not really two different gospels. There's one gospel message based on the blood of Jesus. One gospel message based on the teachings of Jesus and the teachings of Jesus are twofold. One were the teachings while they were still under the law, keep the jot and tittle. The other one is sell everything and follow me into this grace and this new teaching of grace, which has obedience to it, is the dispensation of God's blood. And you better believe the disciples taught the death, burial, and resurrection. And you better believe they taught about the blood sacrifice. Oh yes, they did. You just have to read your Bible and know it because they're lying to you on the internet. They're lying to you. What do we follow now? We follow the grace message, the name of Jesus, the blood sacrifice, the death, burial, and res resurrection. Repent from your sins. Pick up your cross and follow me. Turn from your sins. Love each other. Turn the other cheek. Forgive each other. Stop defrauding. The law, the morality of living holy and pure is what Jesus taught for grace. You can't just live in sin and do whatever you want. So there are standards of behavior. When the Holy Spirit comes down, the Holy Spirit 
is holy, the Holy Spirit comes up to us. The Holy Spirit, if the Holy Spirit lives in us, we will obey the gospel. We will obey Jesus. We will know how to live our lives. We will know. He, the Holy Spirit reminds us what Jesus said. The Holy Spirit gives us epiphanies and revelations and understanding that we know how to live. We know how to change and become brand new creatures born of the Holy Spirit. There's a conversion. There's a change in a man's heart. If he's under this grace, he will receive the power of the Holy Spirit and become a new person. You won't still live in your wickedness. So again, let me wrap this up. Three and a half years of Jesus' ministry, he was teaching under the law and he's laying the foundation of grace. If you don't understand that, you're going to be confused by people on the internet. They're going to mess with your head and tell you there's two different gospel messages. Paul's preaching some kind of a uh, lukewarm gospel message. Paul preached obey. And we can show you all the scriptures where Paul is preaching faith in the blood, but turn from your sins. Jesus preached the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, and so did the disciples. You just have to know how to read your scriptures properly. All right, guys, I love you. I'll see you in the next video. God bless each and every one of you. I hope this helps. Peace.